My Christopher says that she was foolish to adopt after placing son with new family. I wanted to help so bad I was willing to bring home any child that needed me, she said. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this. So today I'm going to talk about what has been happening, what's been the update one month later with this whole Michael Stoffer story um, with Huxley, the adopted Chinese boy. I have spoken about this previously so you guys can go and watch those videos. Um, there has been an update um, from her. She has addressed the situation so we are going to look into this. So I'm going to just read out first of all what the articles are saying and then I'm going to give my honest opinion about it please do like comment and subscribe to the channel thanks michael stuffer is taking to social media to apologize one month after news broke out that her adopted son huxley stuffer is living with a new family in the spring many fans started to question why huxley was no longer appearing on her videos and in emotional videos that was since been made private that has since been made private Stoffer and her husband James Stoffer explain that Huxley, who has autism and a sensory processing disorder, is living with a new mummy in a foreign, in a forever home. Adoption advocates and experts spoke out as well, explaining that experiences like this can be extremely de detrimental to the child's well-being, which is what everybody is saying. So now Stoffer is breaking the silence. Okay, so let's have a look at her apology. I want to first off apologise for the uproar and take full responsibility for all of the hurt that I have caused. The decision, This decision has caused so many people heartbreak and I'm sorry for letting so many women that looked up to me as a mother. I'm sorry for the confusion and pain I have caused and I'm sorry for not being able to tell more of my story from the beginning. I could have never anticipated the incidents which occurred on a private level to ever have happened and I was trying my best to navigate the hardest thing I have ever been through. I apologise for being so naive when I started the adoption process. I was not selective or fully equipped for or prepared. I received one day of watching a home online video training and gain, gain my Hague adoption certificate, which was required by my accredit, accredited adoption agency. For me, I needed more training. I can't say I wish this never happened because I'm still so glad Huxley is here and getting all the help he needs. I also know that even though he is happier in his new home and doing better that he still experienced trauma and I'm sorry. No adoptee deserves any more trauma. This is quite long guys. <sighs> I look up to you in a million ways and I'm sorry for hurting the community in any way. Lastly, to debunk, to debunk a couple of complete rumours, we did not adopt a child to gain wealth. While we did receive a small portion of money from videos featuring Hux Huxley and his journey, every penny, every penny and much more went back into his care. <clears throat> Getting Huxley the care and services he needed was a very expensive and we made sure he got it every single and we made sure he got every single service and resource we could possibly find. Secondly, we did not under any type of investigation. Um secondly, we are not under any type of investigation. I'm hoping to share more from my side of the story soon. And lastly, I'm so sorry for letting me down. I also want to mention that mums need a safe place to ask for help when they are struggling. We love Huxley and know that this was the right decision for him and his future. Praying that Huxley only has the best future in the entire world. Okay, so that was her apology. So I take it that they are no longer in, under investigation, but I do believe that local authorities were investigating it because they were concerned of the well-being. They did clarify, which I spoke about in my previous video, that Huxley was not missing, but they were just concerned with his well-being. Quite frankly, right, they should have been. I didn't really like the way that she was like, I wanted to help so bad I was willing to bring home any child that needed me. It just doesn't really sound like a nice thing to say you know like i just really really want to help like we all want to help but to then say i was willing to bring any child that needed my help is like 
did you so was it like a pity thing or you know like did you feel sorry for them like it just it's not a very nice thing to say so she then went on to say that she just received like a one day video online training course and then she received her certificate and um, i don't particularly know what the process is like and then she went on to say that she needed more training my question would be if you felt like you needed more training then why did you go ahead and you know complete the adoption after you did that training like i am pretty sure Sure that you know if you feel like you need more information you need more training then you could inquire about it like you're not obliged like you're not forced that oh you must do it now with um adoption agencies you know they would also want to make sure that that child uh, that you would be the fitting parent for that child and the environment would be fitting for that child so if you felt like you know you only had one training and you feel like you would have needed more then you didn't need to rush into um completing the adoption like that's my take on it um she you know tried to do as she i feel like she tried as much as possible to literally take on the responsibility and 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 take and hold herself accountable she was very like i'm sorry that i did this i'm sorry that i like i'm i like and then she says i wish so bad that i was more prepared um i think that's the bit where i'm kind of like what did you expect like obviously there's the med medical needs of Huxley that you po possibly wasn't pre prepared for so maybe that's what she's referring to but I think that they would have been aware of his medical conditions just maybe not how intense intensive it was um however if you felt like you wasn't prepared enough then I don't think that you should have gone ahead and just continued with it that's my opinion so she has come out and she has apologized um she said that she's going to do more videos on it the video of it has gone you know she's put it off on private obviously because maybe all of the backlash and I think it's the right thing to do because you know you just don't want some you don't want to come across that kind of video you know parents explaining why they gave you away because you was too much to handle like I think that was just not good but yeah let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are um there's going to be a lot more to the story i can imagine it's going to unfold a lot more so i'm definitely going to be following up on that um but like i said do like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys